Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. So I cannot believe that July is in just a couple of days. And that means I'm doing my kind of six month check-in on my goals. I'm doing a really big reset today. I wanted to do kind of a little bit more of like a deep clean today just to kind of get my life together. As I mentioned in my last video, which was my how to be more motivated video, I have been a little bit like in a rut, I would say. And one thing that always kind of helps me get myself out of a rut, helps me feel more motivated and more put together is just like getting things done not only around the house but you know with some of the things I've maybe been putting off like for example scheduling a dentist appointment scheduling a doctor's appointment things like that when I have these things kind of in the back of my mind that I need to do that I've been procrastinating it can kind of make me just like feel a little bit stressed when I don't need to be so today I really just wanted to get a lot of things done clean the house I love having a clean house it just makes me feel you know put together and refreshed I put together a to-do list for that as well as some other things that I need to get done today so I'll read that out really quick read 50 pages of my book of course I want to change the bed sheets deep clean the kitchen vacuum upstairs and mop downstairs deep clean the master bathroom clean out our fridge and pantry fold the laundry go to the gym and I need to email our HOA so that's my list right now and then after I get all this done I wanted to kind of take a look at my vision board and then just talk about how the year is going for me so far as well as what my goals are kind of for not only July but the rest of this year and hopefully you guys do this along with me I like doing these little reset and you know goal check-in videos because I feel like it just helps me stay accountable to my own goals hopefully this video motivates you to you know deep clean your house or do whatever you need to do in order to feel a little bit reset and refreshed for the second half of this year you guys I cannot believe that we are halfway through this year already <laughs> One thing that I would just in general in life love to outsource at some point would be somebody to help do our laundry all the time. This is probably both mine and Chris's least favorite chore. So that's just a general life goal would be to be able to afford a housekeeper to come like once a week, do all of our laundry and cleaning and stuff. At the end of the day, there's no shame in saying you don't like to do a certain chore or whatever, but at the same time, even though I hate doing laundry, I also hate having piles of even just clean clothes laying around. And so if you can afford it and you don't like to do the chore, like why not hire somebody to do it for you? Like I think that's just being mature and realistic about your time and how you like to spend your time. But that being said, obviously with me being unemployed, I can't really, you know, afford to hire somebody to come do our laundry and do our cleaning once a week or once a month even, it's pretty expensive. One thing I was gonna say, I want to make a goal for kind of the second half of this year while I'm thinking about it, is just to be better about this. For me, having even just like a pile of clean clothes really just clutters my brain space and makes me feel you know, disorganized, it makes me feel stressed and overwhelmed or it doesn't, at least it doesn't like help fix that. I feel like when Chris and I first moved into this house, we were super good about like keeping it clean. And I definitely think that keeping something clean is a lot easier than having to do these like big, you know, doing a ton of laundry in one day or doing, you know, a ton of deep cleaning in one day that takes way more like time, energy, effort than it is to just like kind of clean as you go. So I just want to try my best to, you know, be better about staying on top of laundry, staying on top of keeping the counters clean or keeping the shower clean. That's basically it. I just wanna try and be better about like on top of laundry and goals. Putting my laundry away as soon as it's clean rather than letting it sit in a clean laundry basket for multiple days on end.
Alright, just ate breakfast. Gonna work on vacuuming up here and start cleaning the bathroom. I just like have a really bad headache today. I don't know if anybody else like struggles with headaches. Just took some medicine for it, so hopefully it gets a little bit better. But I know a few tips and tricks for helping alleviate headaches like caffeine, iced drinks, like iced coffee, ice water, things like that tend to help me. So I'm gonna be trying all those tips and tricks today. If you struggle with headaches, let me know in the comments if you have any hacks for helping with headaches. Things are looking pretty good up here. The counters and sinks are clean. I did the mirrors. I did the shower as best I could. Honestly, this is one thing that I feel like we need a professional to do because one, I don't like doing it. And two, it's a lot of work. It's really hard. Organized the closet a bit, did the vacuuming in there, put all the clothes away, wiped down this mirror, cleaned up this toilet, and of course our master bedroom. Got two Lazy dogs, changed the sheets as you saw, vacuumed in here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and move on down to downstairs and work on the kitchen. And I'm gonna vacuum the stairs when I go do that as well. Whew, we're having a productive day. I know it's a lot of cleaning, but again, cleaning just helps my headspace. And what better way to start out the second half of the year than with a clean house? hate cleaning out the fridge. Chris and I are bad about throwing away like old jars of salsa or an open bag of chips that we haven't touched in two months. It just stays there. So I wanna do a little decluttering of the fridge and pantry. I feel like the kitchen's looking pretty good. And I'm thinking in about 30 minutes or so, whenever I start to make my lunch, I'm gonna switch over to thinking about my goals for kind of the next six months. It's been a busy morning cleaning though, but I'm proud of myself for doing it. It's hard, especially when you're feeling unmotivated, feeling in a rut, but I definitely feel better about like things feeling cleaner. I'm looking for this. In our defense, some of the stuff is <laughs> Things that people have brought over for like brunch, like they brought over, you know, orange juice or whatever, and we don't really drink orange juice most of the time, or like I've had my parents visit and they buy their own, you know, snacks and stuff that we just don't really eat, and then they don't take them with them when they leave. So in my defense, not all of this is stuff that we've like bought and not finished. Some of it is, but anyways, maybe that should be a goal for the next six months of this year is like be more thoughtful about the food that I'm buying and finish everything that we buy if possible. All right, so let's just go over my June goals really quick. So gym four times per week. I actually have been really good about that this month. So I'm really proud of myself for that. I kind of just shifted my workout schedule to make it a little bit more structured. So basically I'm going Monday, Tuesday, rest Wednesday, going Thursday, Friday, and then spending the weekends either doing some like cardio, abs, whatever, like something like that, that I find enjoyable. Having a little bit more structure to it has made it a little bit easier to stick to. Run four times per week, work up to three miles by the end of the month i'm up to 2.75 right now and i still have one more week actually left in the month i'm hoping that i can get there by the end of the month but i am starting to have some like hip pain which i haven't ever had before after running it's only been happening the last like two times so i think i'm actually gonna buy some running shoes and hopefully that will help out my hip pain but i'm almost there so i'm proud of myself for working up to that and getting really close to that goal by the end of this month track food five days per week preferably six i haven't really been doing that it's been really on and off i've just been really unmotivated with tracking my food so that's definitely gonna be a goal for July and these next couple of months. Reached 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. Honestly, you guys, I thought that was a stretch, and as I'm recording this, I am sitting at 2768. So, 
achieved that. That's freaking awesome. Wild minimum views per YouTube video up to 600. So I do have a couple that are like sitting around like 400, 450. And it's a little disappointing if I'm being completely honest. So I'm definitely going to work more in the month of July on more like intriguing video topic ideas. And hopefully it's not even put out any that people don't want to watch. Read four books. I should go get the books that I read because I read some really good ones this month, you guys. Put a pin in that one for a second. Spend at least one day truly recharging. I feel like I actually did do this this month, so proud of myself for that. And practice 5 a.m. routine. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I did not really practice my 5 a.m. routine. I used to wake up at like 7, 7.30, and I've been waking up around 6 pretty consistently. It feels doable for me. It still gives me time in the morning to mentally prepare for the day and starting my work day a little bit earlier. So I'm still proud of myself for getting up in that 6 o'clock time frame. Hang on. I need to go grab the book. I want to share a little bit about my thoughts on all the books I read this month, just really quick. All right, so quick book reading check-in. So this book I read first. This was our book club book from, what was last month? May? <laughs> But we had a book club like beginning of the month. It was like June 7th or something. So I actually read it this month. And honestly, I really liked this book. I thought it was intriguing. The storyline was twisted. The ending, I was kind of not my favorite ending, I would say. But nonetheless, it was a really entertaining book. If you're looking for like an intriguing WTF type of book, you like thrillers, I do recommend this one. It was an interesting one. And it was different than a lot of books I've read recently, I would say, as far as like thrillers are concerned. Next, I read After I Do, which I'm really sad that I don't physically have it here because I already lent it out to someone because I freaking loved this book. It was like a six out of five stars. I think this is probably like my new favorite book possibly. It's by Taylor Jenkins Reid and it's really just about like a married couple kind of going through the trials of marriage and like almost like falling out of love and then how they cope with the situation and what they do. I don't know. I just thought it was like a very heartwarming story and I think like being a married person I can appreciate that type of story as well I loved that book I really really did so yeah I had to give it to my friend Sam already because I was like you're gonna love this book cried multiple times like it just like touched my heart and anyways so if you want a good love story that might make you cry and especially if you can relate to like the challenges of marriage or whatever then you'll definitely like that book I just finished this one yesterday it happened one summer and this is just kind of like a classic little cheesy little love story but it's based in the pacific northwest which is where i'm originally from so i think it just like hit home with me made me reminiscent of seattle and the uh, ocean towns up there and honestly i was like now i really want to go back to seattle and spokane and be in the mountains and the lakes and stuff definitely some spicy scenes in here which i was not expecting didn't know that this book was gonna have that so consider yourself warned i feel like i gave this one like a four and a half stars really enjoyed this one just like easy summer romance spicy yeah gotta love it i'm currently on this one so this is my fourth book this month and i talked about this in my motivation video it's really just about like how to optimize your time be more productive i just wanted to get a like personal development book in this month so this is the one i'm currently on i'm almost done with it and then this is going to be my last book of the month i plan on finishing this this month it's really short it's only it's only like 300 pages so it's a pretty short book i've read the cabin by this author and so i'm really intrigued to to see kind of how this book is but honestly it looks like the words are are kind of like spread out i don't know it seems like it's gonna be a really quick read i think i can finish it in a few days honestly so i'm gonna try and read this by the end of the month as well but that will put me at five books so definitely be hitting my goal of four books this month which i'm very proud of myself for because i was feeling like not motivated about reading last month right so i actually just want to focus on kind of brainstorming some of my goals for the second half of this year and then i'll break it down into july so i'm gonna just sit here and brainstorm for a little bit about what my goals are for the next six months so in my Notion template, I have a whole section for my yearly goals. And since I kind of put together my Notion page mid-year, I didn't really sit down and think about these goals. But now that we're six months into the year, I figured I would just spend a little bit of time really thinking about some of my bigger long-term goals for the rest of this year. So my first goal that I was talking to you guys about earlier was putting my laundry away immediately after cleaning it. And then in general, I just want to be better about deep cleaning. So holding myself accountable to deep cleaning 
clean our master bathroom once a month. And the last goal I wanted to add for personal was prioritizing my mental health. For health and fitness, I wanted to delete get abs and just put stay consistent with the gym. And then the second thing I wanted to add here was get back into the habit of tracking my macros. I've kind of fallen off that habit and I just want to get back into it. And I decided lastly, since I've gotten back into running, I would love to sign up for a race. And I did just want to keep my 10K subscriber goal. I feel like that's just a great goal for me for the end of this year. And for my second goal for my career, I wanted to rephrase this to specifically be about how much I'm making from Google AdSense. Moving on to more intentions for top of mind the rest of this year. So I didn't actually set these when I started my Notion page. So some intentions I'm making for the second half of this year are to call my family at least once a week, be super intentional with who I spend my time with, focus on my mental health, which is the most important thing. And lastly, do my best to travel when I can and prioritize traveling. All right. And just switching over to my monthly goals really quick. This month is July. Seriously, cannot believe it's already July, you guys. So I decided I wanted to keep my first two goals of gym four times per week running. I'm going to keep running and want to increase my distance to four miles by the end of the month of July. Track food five days per week, preferably six. Again, kept that one and just want to really get back into tracking my macros, you guys. Reach 4,000 subscribers on YouTube. Honestly, this feels super far-fetched, but you know what? We're writing it down, manifesting all of that. Read four books, kept that goal. Spent at least one day recharging, kept that goal as well. And then I wanted to add a couple more, which is to get good sleep, find ways to reduce stress to ultimately improve my mental health. And then the last two goals I set for myself were to create one additional income stream and then to take one weekend away with just me, Chris, and Doodle and have a little family time. All right, got my little iced coffee. I, I needed a little pick me up to finish the day, you guys. I don't know what is going on, but these last couple of weeks I've just been so freaking exhausted but anyways I just needed a little extra coffee a little extra caffeine today but with all that being said I just wanted to do kind of a quick like plan with me look through my calendar for the next like month or two make any changes that I need to make to that look at my content calendar and kind of just like meant to prepare for these next few months ahead okay first let's go into calendar for real, got scheduled this day. Okay, here we are in July Huntington. We're just going till Sunday, but I am glad that that's a little bit more finalized. I think Chris and I are gonna try and do a little getaway weekend, either this weekend or this weekend. So I'm just gonna like tentative, tentatively put it in here to hold us accountable to actually doing it. We are doing book club day. I feel like that's it for July, for now at least. August. Okay, nothing has really changed here. Also, I just can't believe that Cabo is literally like a little over two months away. I feel like it's kind of like the main things that we have going on over the next couple of months. So honestly, this is looking pretty good. Let's look at our content calendar for YouTube. So I was gonna make this video a product productivity time management tips video, but I honestly think I wanna change it to something more like health and fitness related. Things kind of things kind of shift around, you know, things change, but this is just a good kind of general idea of like what I want to be making videos about. Nothing is necessarily super set in stone. Of course, like let me know in the comments if there's anything you guys want to see from me. Let's go look at my book hub really quick. So next I am gonna read The Island. Then I'm gonna read our book club book, which is Before We Were Strangers. Then I really wanna read Happy Place. We'll kind of go from there. Okay, the last thing I wanted to look at is my vision board, which I have in my Notion. And I just wanted to quickly like check in, make sure that everything in here still feels aligned. I would say for the most part, like everything here does feel pretty aligned. The only thing is, is like I, just don't know how realistic like an international trip is going to be this year unfortunately we have mexico planned in september and then it's kind of like gets into the holidays honestly so realistically this might be something for 2024 which is you know unfortunate it's a little bit disappointing but i think still for me it's like good to have that on there and remind myself that i of course, I like, still really want to make those trips happen. I'm glad I'm getting up to, you know, Washington this year. I'm still very much aligned to the car, making money, 10,000 YouTube subscribers this year. Love to, I really do want to change up my home office, but we'll get there eventually. Eating healthy, of course, I am still doing my best to eat as healthy as I can. 
working out, getting to the gym, and then this part is kind of like spending time on myself and self-care and doing the things that I need to do in order to take care of myself. So definitely still feel aligned with that. But you guys, I think that that pretty much wraps it up for this video, this six month check-in, reviewing my vision board, reviewing my goals, checking in on how this year has gone so far and what I wanna prioritize for the next like six months as we are approaching the second half of this year, which is so freaking crazy to me. I can't believe, wow, I can't believe it's been like six months of doing YouTube, six months of not working a nine to five, crazy. And yeah, just nice to always do a little deep clean on the house and make sure that you're kind of preparing your space that you live in to be feeling good and optimizing it for your mental health. So please let me know in the comments what your goals are for not only July, but the rest of this year. I would love to hear them. We can hold each other accountable. And if you did a little reset as well, then let me know what some of your favorite things are to do for your monthly or like mid-year reset. But that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will check in with you next time. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the link above where I linked my entire monthly resets playlist.